How's it going everybody? Ad Ricker here. Everybody hates a scammer. And if you've spent some time in the YouTube comments section of various YouTube channels, you see all the normal comments on a particular video, and then you see a bunch of spam replies to each one of those comments that says something like, you've won something or other. In my case, someone was saying, you won a Mavic 3. Usually there are also instructions given in that comment saying, contact me on WhatsApp or contact me on Telegram along with the number. Well, if you look at the uh, reply, the scammer, it has the same channel icon as mine. So at first glance, it looks like that reply is coming from me and I am notifying you that you won a DJI Mavic 3 or something. You may contact that person and legitimately think that you won some sort of giveaway or prize. So you contact the person, you say, hey, how do I redeem my prize? That's actually what I did to the scammer on my channel. I, I posed as somebody else saying, hey, I won, just to see what the conversation would be like. Well, naturally that Telegram account is under my name, Ed Ricker, but it's a scammer, it's not me. So in this conversation, the person will say, hey, you won a DJI Mavic 3. All you have to do is pay for shipping. They'll give you a list of different shipping carriers, you know, FedEx, DHL, UPS, whatever. And then they give you a PayPal address. And this is the one that the scammer sent me. And then basically what they want you to do is send them money for shipping and then you'll never hear from them ever again. So you're out the 150, the 200, whatever it is payment uh, for shipping. The scammer pockets that money and yeah, you'll never see it. By the way, They'll ask you to send it under friends and family, which has no transaction protection. So you can't dispute the case because it was under friends and family. If you ever work or you know do transactions under PayPal, especially with someone you don't know or because you're selling an item or buying an item, always make sure you're using it under goods and services because that's the way you can get your money back if something like this goes wrong. So since I used a fake name to contact this scammer, Ed Ricker on Telegram, I sent him a video message and said, hey, actually, I was using a fake name. I'm the real Ed Ricker, knock it off. Naturally, the person didn't want to cooperate and actually ended up threatening me and my channel. I don't know what he could do to my channel. My channel's been through a lot, and to be honest, I haven't been doing much with my channel. I gave him a choice though. I said, hey, if you leave my channel alone and you don't post anymore, then I won't make this video that I'm making right now, this one. And, uh, well, the person couldn't honor that deal. I didn't really expect that they would. They wanted $200 <laughs> for that. And of course, he's a scammer. So if I were to pay him $200, I would probably still be getting comments on my YouTube channel. My whole point in making this though is that there are people who will fall for this. And the reason that I find out about these comments is not from some sort of YouTube notification. I don't get notified of replies to comments. I only get notified of comments. So the replies to comments get notifications sent to the, the original commenter, they then are contacting me saying, hey, is this really you, Ed? Did I really win something or is this a scammer? I sifted through some of these comments and some of these replies and some of the scammer postings and there were people actually in there asking, hey, Ed, why are you charging me shipping? As if they still thought it might be me. And it's obvious that because of how long this has been going on, I've seen these scammers for over a year and a half across YouTube, this type of scamming, that it must be worthwhile to some degree because some people must fall for it. And that's why I'm compelled to make this video because I don't want anyone to fall for it. Inevitably, someone still might. They might not see this video, but they might get the, you know, the notification of the reply scammer and, and they might start interacting with that person. And that's just unfortunate. But if I can at least tell you now that that's not me, you know, this is, this is me saying you didn't win something unless you see my face here talking to you saying I'm posting a giveaway. And I've done that on occasion, but I'm not going to be commenting, telling you to contact me on WhatsApp or Telegram or some of these other, you know, messaging, non-traceable messaging systems that are just uh, screaming, scam. Now, if it's on my channel or someone else's channel, if you sense that something is wrong and you've been contacted and you think it might be a scam, just click on the username of the person who's, who sent you the reply. You can see if they have any subscribers, when their account was made, and if it looks legit. If there's no videos and no subscribers, then more than likely, well, actually completely likely, that it's a scammer. Now, first of all, what can I do? I can go through all my channel comments, sift through them, 
uh, use keyword searches in the filter to see if maybe there's some mention of my name or Telegram or WhatsApp, but it's tedious and I have to delete each one at a time. And YouTube hasn't made it any easier for us and I'm sure they've been aware of the problem and it's not even that complex of a fix because Theo Joe, a multi-million subscribed YouTube channel, was able to create his own program. It's called YouTube Spammer Purge that will search through your YouTube channel and in one fell swoop, report and delete all of the scammers with very, very low inaccuracy. It's awesome. It works out so good. It was daunting at first because the program looks like a command window and I just wasn't sure if I could tackle it. It was really easy. I'll have a link to his video for how to set it up and to get going in a tutorial on how to use it because it's a really great program and it should be incorporated into YouTube. I mean, I just don't know why YouTube with all of their research and development have been able to do what this guy has done on his own. Craziness. The other good thing about this program is that you can search other YouTube channels for scammers and then report those scam comments as well. So let's just say we're on Rotor Riot or some other you know, big drone YouTube channel or any YouTube channel, we can use this program to report spam comments on their channel as well. Now, reporting comments doesn't do a whole lot and actually blocking uh, uh, accounts from your channel doesn't do much either. So let's just say a scammer commented a hundred times in my video and then I finally realize I decide to uh, hide him from my channel, essentially block him from my channel. Well, it doesn't like retroactively delete the previous 100 comments that that person made. It only prevents that person from commenting anymore. So it's still up to me to delete those comments. And it really would be a good idea for me to do that because I don't want people to start falling for this. And every comment that stays up is a risk for someone to get scammed. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's disappointing that that happens. It's disappointing that some people aren't able to see through such a scam. And that's why scammers exist, to prey on those types of people. So what can you as a viewer do to help us all? Not just me, but any of these channels. Well, let them know that you have been contacted or you see these scammers in the comments. We don't know that these scammers are all over our channel unless someone tells us or we might see it on our own. That can be hours, days, weeks later. Also, if you have some free time, why not waste the scammer's time? Send them a message, play with them, mess with them. If enough people mess with the scammer, maybe he'll move on. Or at least it'll make it more difficult for the scammer to sift through all those people to find a real vulnerable target. YouTube doesn't seem to care, they're not monitoring it. Uh, I'm sure they know it exists, but it's not their priority. It's not their money they're losing. <laughs> if it was their money, they'd be all up on it. You know how YouTube is. When I was communicating with this scammer on Telegram who was you know, basically pretending to be me, the person said, I need money. And then later on admitted that person needs money for school. The scammer says, you wouldn't understand. No, I can't understand. I won't pretend I can understand. I can't understand other people's problems. I have my own problems and they have theirs. So we all have problems. And it's very selfish of someone to assume that their problems are worse than someone else's. You don't know the situation of the people you're scamming. You're not scamming billionaires. You're not scamming corporations. You're scamming real, well-meaning people. It's worth it to me to be open, to be honest, and to be clear with you about what's going on because it's my reputation, it's your money, and it's the health of YouTube community as a whole. And um, yeah, I'm just not gonna let people get away with it if I can help it. Stay safe, be smart, happy flying.